Hey, what's up everyone? Louis Tran here. Long time no see. I know it's been like maybe four months since I last uploaded a video and you know I've I really apologize for that. It's I have a backlog of videos and at the same time I've I've been pretty busy with my personal life and my professional life as well. Uh, you know, one, I just graduated uh, WGU, uh, Western Governors University, the, the online university that I was talking about in, in previous videos uh, months ago. I started that program a year ago and then I finally graduated uh, almost exactly a year later and I got my degree. I was busy studying, I was busy wrapping up my final exams as well as my capstone. And uh, also in the same month of December, uh, last month, I no, wait, it's February right now. It's almost February. Yeah, well, it's the end of January. Okay, it's, uh, I don't even know what day it is anymore. Uh, so I just uh, closed on my house, just moved into my new place, had to move everything, and then also did a lot of uh, remodel, a lot of work uh, in the new place that I moved into. So I've been pretty busy with with uh, home improvement projects uh, as well as well as other stuff uh, at work. But, you know, um, I, I'm putting this video up to help address uh, you know, a lot of the comments, a lot of the questions that people had in regards to the video about getting iMessage to work on uh, Windows 10 using the Dell Mobile Connect. And uh, you know, a lot of you just recently had issues, um, especially right now, uh, that the app doesn't work. The app is, says that the app is not compatible or the, uh, the, uh, the app doesn't meet the requirements um, the system doesn't meet requirements for the Dell Mobile Connect app. And then, you know, I, I really want to thank everybody that's that's uh, helped other users out uh, in the comment section. And then it's helped me out, too, uh, in finding the solution for, to getting that to work. So, you know, I did post, uh, I did um, pin a, the solution on how to, uh, you know, a workaround on how to get, uh, get the app to work. And then for those of you who have missed uh, the post and also the description uh, that I updated too on that video. Uh, in order to get that to work, guys, uh, the workaround is to download to download the uh, the older version of Dell Mobile Connect, which I posted, you know, in in the pinned video. And I'm also going to include that in the uh, description of this video, so that uh, you know, people who don't read the comments and people who don't uh, who who don't like reading anything, uh, and but just like watching videos. Uh, so <laughs> the solution to that, guys, is you have to download the downgraded version of Dell Mobile Connect. Again, the link is in the description uh, of this video, and I'm also going to pin that as well on, on this video. So in case you guys missed it, that's the way to do it. Um, other than that, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just rushing in and out of uh, in doing this video. I'm in the middle of, you know, still working on my house and, and other stuff as well. But I do have uh, other videos that should be coming along pretty soon. I should be getting back into the groove of things once, you know, all this craziness ends. So, Happy New Year. Have a great 2020. And remember, those who are investing in uh, GameStop, uh, GameStop, hold the line because, you know, we're going to be millionaires. All right, guys. Peace. I'll see you in the next video.